Hey, what's up guys? So, um, one of the reasons I like having this channel is uh, you guys give me feedback, right? And uh, the video, the last video I did when we were talking about Spotify payments and the, the average pay rate, I had done the math uh, on three months. I'll leave the link below to that video in case you didn't catch it. And I had a, an average number that I was getting per stream or what my distributor was getting reported back from Spotify as a unit. You know, whether they listen to it halfway through or what country they listen. I, I don't know those variables. All I know is that per unit, I gave you guys a number. And one of the questions I, or one of my, you know, comments was, hey, if, if you guys, some of you guys are pushing product uh, through a distributor, I said, you know, do the math and please, you know, let us know or let me know, are you seeing the same numbers? Because, you know, when you're by yourself, you, you it's hard to say what, uh, these streaming services are paying out and I've had a couple comments and I appreciate them thank you very much and that's why I love having this channel uh, you guys essentially confirmed uh, my average and thank you and thank you from the community I'm sure uh, the other viewers appreciate that as well now that's part of this um, I noticed that uh, a couple of you guys got pretty damn discouraged when I gave you those rates and uh, Let's talk about this just for a quick minute, all right? Um, you know, it was obvious to start doing the math. Well, based on your per unit stream, I'm going to need thousands of streams just to make two bucks, you know, or stuff along those lines, or music has lost all its value. But I'm, I'm asking you guys to reconsider um, your viewpoint on this. You know, I understand where you're coming from. You're coming from the standpoint of, uh, it's going to take forever to get even a thousand streams, right? And it might take a while, you know, it takes a while to get the right brand, the right combination, the right sound. You know, I've gone through uh, over the years to try to make something work. I mean, I've got, oh man, I've got a cemetery plot uh, just filled with uh, brands I tried and different music genres over the years that just fell flat and you learn something every time and you know you repackage it you restructure it you you, you get rid of some things you add some things in and eventually something sticks you know uh, but I, the thing that's important to remember is that you know you you still might be thinking in the old school way like you know somebody bought a cd you know it's so different now there's you know i i i always i always say this to you guys like don't worry about what's happening in the background you know don't worry about how you're going to get those first thousand uh, thousand streams don't worry about that there's like the, the world's a big place it's getting bigger streaming is in its infancy i mean in the next 10 years Every single human being on this planet will be streaming from a Spotify or an Apple Music or God knows what we're going to have, right? People like, it's not like you guys think like what? You know, some guy's going to come by, listen to your song and leave, right? And there, there's one. There's only one stream and that's a fractions of a penny, you know, and I need thousands of these and I need thousands of these on a continual basis, a lot of what happens, or at least what I've observed looking through my Spotify stats uh, over the last year is, yes, people show up, uh, you know, some people will listen, it's not for them, they move on, you get that one stream out of the guy, but many people are going to be attracted to the thing you got going on, they're going to love your art, they're going to love your band name, they're going to love the sound you give them, right, and they're going to put you in a playlist, or they're going to follow you. And as these small numbers start to kind of get attracted to what you got going on and they do start sharing your stuff and putting it in a playlist, other people come around and um, they see what that guy has in his playlist. And next thing you know, he finds you through his playlist. And it's just, it's almost like it's, it's, it's an, you know, an infinite amount of possibilities of how your music um can get out there and, and how your content can be absorbed. The, the reason there's a fear as to, oh, I, I can't, this is nuts. I'll never make any money with this because these payouts are so small. It's not like it used to be, you know what I mean? No one's buying a single unit of music anymore. It's, it's just a different game. I, I, you know, open your mind. This is it. Like, I, you know, here's the alternative. 
you have no other options. You guys can kick and scream. You can complain about it not being enough, this or that. The bottom line is, this is where we're at, and we're just going to go deeper into this. We're not going back. We're never going back to single unit music. It's over. This is the new environment, and it's just going to be this environment, just more of it and more enhanced, okay? So be optimistic. You look. Okay. I'm going to put it this way. So... Music has been embedded into me uh, for a long time uh, to such an extent, like um, even when I left the business, I still found myself sitting down behind, you know, behind the, the gear and working on tunes and I didn't have an outlet for them and I started to go mad. Okay. Because I realized I can, you know what, I can't walk away from this music thing. Like, um, I feel like it almost ruined my life when I was doing jingles. And when I stopped doing jingles, I still couldn't get away from it. So I found myself for years sitting around putting compositions together and they just sat on my hard drive and it started to make me crazy. You know, I started thinking, man, I'm, I've got this immense amount of output and nothing's happening with it. And I think that's probably likely for a lot of you guys, right? You can't help but work on tunes, right? Because that's like a part of what you are, right? It's in you. You, you, you can't. I, I try to walk away from it and I get depressed after three weeks where I say to myself, you know, I'm done with music. I've, I've done it for too long. It's been good. I had some highs, had some lows. I'm finished. Two, three weeks, I'm starting to get super depressed. Life loses meaning, and I'm right back at the rig working on the stuff. But it started to drive me a little batty that the stuff was just ending up on my hard drive. And that's when I really started saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to, I have no choice. I have to sit and work on music for, for my own well being, you know, just so I can live a life uh, with some sort of satisfaction. I'm going to work on music one way or another. So it's in my best interest to get these things off my hard drive and I might as well try to get them into circulation. And that's all this is. Think of it as that way. You're going to make music anyway. Yes, no one's going to pay you uh, $10 for your CD anymore. Those days are over. But there's this new thing that's much bigger than you expect. Don't think in terms of it's hard for me to find a thousand people to stream a song. It's, it's hard for me to find that. Yes, it's difficult. But as you continue to do this, because you're going to do it anyway, if you put it through these channels, and I've made a lot of videos about this, you got to get the pipeline set up. Once it's set up, don't worry about the fact that Spotify doesn't pay Jack or any of these other guys. That's not your concern. You got to do the music anyway. Just please set up the pipeline, work on your tunes, but don't leave them on your hard drive. Just get them out the pipeline. Okay. It's, it's that simple. You know, don't, don't worry about making that world changing album that's going to revolution. Don't worry about that. Just work on your tunes and get them out the pipeline. Get the distributor set up, you know, make sure you understand all the royalty stuff and the publishing, get your admin set up. I've made, I've made a ton of videos about this, guys, but please don't worry about, I'm not going to make money, so screw this. No, you love music. You're going to work on it whether you want it or not. All I'm saying is, Hey, if you're already working on it, why leave it on the hard drive? Let's get it out there, man. Just work on tunes and get them to your distributor as you're done. That's it, all right? I hope this makes sense. I hope I hope this turns the day around for some of you guys because I know a lot of you were really bummed out about these payout rates. But, you know, if you set it up right and you, you keep pumping out the tracks, things happen. You learn things. Maybe you rebrand and, and start a new side project. Um, with, with the information you've learned and things come together. You know, uh, if you're optimistic, you, you know, and you love what you do, it'll work, all right? I hope you guys enjoyed this. And to you guys that uh, got me those um, pay uh, averages for the streams, I appreciate it, all right? I'll catch you guys uh, really soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.